welcome to today's children's session. Great to be with you. Today we are thinking about the second in our series of lessons from lockdown. And today we are learning and remembering that God speaks through his word. He spoke to us through lockdown and he will speak to us in every situation that we find ourselves in. God speaks through his word, the Bible. And so what we're going to do to start with is to play a game. I'm going to set up a game and hopefully Andy will turn up soon and we can play that as we get into this idea of God speaking through his word. So I need to make this room really dark. So I've started off and I'm going to see if I can get rid of the light and oh. make this room. Hiya. Oh, hi, Andy. Oh, I'm glad you What's going here. on here? Are you camping out in the office again? No, no, I'm not going to have a camp out, but I wanted... Do you want to play a game? Yeah, I love games. Excellent. And do you like Skittles? I love Skittles. Excellent. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to put these Skittles down here. Okay? Maybe there. Is that okay there? Yeah. Can Great. I get... Can I... Uh, get no, it? because what we're going to do is we're going to make this room... Dark. Oh, I know. It's, I was trying to get that stuff last week, lessons from lockdown. Got it wrong last week. But are you testing us? Is it the Nicodemus story? No, that, no, no. That no, was dark, wasn't no, it? No, no, no. It really isn't another test. Okay? okay. There, there is no test. But what I want to do is I want to see how you can get to the Skittles in the dark. It's quite tricky. Do you like the dark? Um, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. I wonder. Okay. Um, I wonder if this might help you a bit more. Oh, the light. Torch. The light. Okay. Can you see me? I can see you. I can see you. Excellent. There's the Skittles. Okay, but what you're going to do is follow the light. The light's going to be your pathway to get to the Skittles. Okay, okay yeah. Okay, so here, I'm giving you the light, but you've got to follow it. You've got to follow it, Andy, quicker than this. Come on. Come on, quicker than this. Not bad, not bad. Okay, is that easier to see? This could be maybe quite a good game to do at home, couldn't it? It could be, yeah. Maybe people have got blackout blinds or something a bit easier. Okay, you ready, 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 and... Yes! You've got it. Okay. I've got them. Amazing. And um, as we're remembering lessons from lockdown, um, the other week I really enjoyed learning about sharing. That was great when the Raymonds... Did you watch that one? The Raymonds... I did watch it. Oh, good! About sharing. So um, I'm going to take these home to share with my family. Oh, it's, okay. Um, it's like sharing, isn't it? So. Okay. Thanks, Andy. It's all right. So today we're thinking about one of the things that we have learned during this period of lockdown is that God still wants to speak to us and he wants to speak to us through his word, the Bible. Do you know what, Andy? We played that game because in verse 105 of Psalm 119, it says this, your word is like a lamp for my feet and a light for my way. The whole of this Psalm is about God's word, isn't it? And about how it helps us live for God. And so actually, I think it'd be really good to try and remember that. Try and memorise that verse. I love that verse. I was taught it as a kid, actually. Well, how about there's a little clip that hasn't got the words spoken, but it's got the words up there. So maybe at home, you could say the words over a couple of times with the clip that we're going to watch and learn this verse with us. If you can't read yourself, then get an adult in the room to help you. We're going to watch that now. helps us to remember that the Word of God, the truths in the Bible, help us to live God's way. It's like a light where we can't see where we're going, but in every way, God's Word lights up the way we should go. 
on our walk with God. And it speaks in every kind of situation in life, doesn't it? There might have been days that you've loved in lockdown, days that you found really hard, things you've been concerned about. And we're going to take a minute to think of some examples of um, maybe the kind of things we'd love God to speak us about and Mm -hmm. see if there's some examples in the Bible about them. So we've got some pictures here. Hopefully you can help me. Um, This one, tick and across. Yeah, Uh, right and wrong. Right and wrong. How to live the right way. Or the Bible might say how to live in a pure way. I'll read verse 9. It says, how can a young person live a pure life? It gives the answer as well, Andy, in verse 9. That's good. He can do it by obeying your word. Wow, so God's word helps people to live the right way. Yeah, brilliant. That's one situation that speaks in. What have we got next? Oh, I know this. It's like romance, you know, uh, I feel in love. No, 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 that's not what we're looking at today. Definitely not. No, no, Uh, no, no. no. The heart? Yeah, yeah, it's about the heart. Verse 11, it says this, I have taken your words to heart. That's a bit hard to understand in a way, but I think what it's saying is what I read in here, I don't just read and think about, I actually believe them. They kind of become part of me. They're so important to me. They're as important as my heart, my life-giving heart. So that's, I think, what it's talking about. And how does that verse end? So it says, I've taken your words to heart, so I would not sin against you. So when I'm understanding and taking God's rules, God's God's way that he wants us to live into my heart, then I'm going to avoid doing the stuff he doesn't like. I'm going to live his way. Great. So they're quite general, aren't they? Like living pure, not sinning, yeah. taking it to heart. Let's see if it's got some more specific things oh, okay. it that yeah. actually speaks into the situations we're on about. Oh, there's the phone. That happens quite regularly here. Uh, <laughs> feel free to ring us in the church building during the week. We're here. We'd love to speak to you. Um, the next one we've got, uh, these people, maybe it's someone ringing for some... Advice. Maybe they're ringing like this guy here is asking his friend. He's got some questions. He's not quite sure what to do at the moment. So he's wanting to speak to his friend. Well, if he's looking for advice, uh, let's see if we can, we could take the call in a minute. What would we say to them? Verse 24 (laughs) says this, your rules give me pleasure. They give me good advice. So if we're looking for advice or someone's ringing for advice, um, actually one of the places we can get it is God's word. And God's word gives advice for all sorts of different things, for your situations as well. So advice, okay. Oh, oh no. dear. Can you see this one? Mm. What do you think is going on? She's not looking happy, is she, Andy? She's not. Sad, you Sad. Think? Scared, maybe? Maybe. Maybe she's had a big, big life change event this week. Oh, maybe. Maybe she started school. A bit nervous. Maybe. Could be all sorts of things, doesn't it? So verse 28 says this. I am sad and tired. Make me strong again, as you have promised. So in some situations, it even teaches us how to pray and reminds us that when we ask God to make us strong, he can. So that was quite specific. Less general now. Really yeah. helpful. Yeah. And um, Oh, a final one. What about if there's a time when um, we need saving? I mean, we need forgiving. Maybe we need God's help. Do you know, Andy, the whole of the story of the Bible is about God's saving plan. And in verse 41, it says, Lord, show me your love. Save me as you have promised. God's word teaches us how we can be saved. God's rescue plan for us, for when we needed our sin to be dealt with. And the only person that can deal with it is Jesus. And that's what he did on the cross to save us. That's in the word too. God's word still speaks. It speaks in every situation. Earlier on in lockdown, we invited some of the children who are part of our church to tell us about some of the ways that they read their Bibles together at home. Let's remind ourselves of how they do it. We are some of our ex-club children again. How do you read the Bible? Who do you read it with? What helps you to understand the Bible? So let's hear from them now. We both read the Bible every every night night before before bed. bed. I read my youth Bible, which is in the New Century version. I also have a devotional to go alongside it. I um, do something on my tablet, 
it's called Buy Black from Kids and Eggs and you could either read the story yourself or it can read it to you. There's even things that you can tap and it makes a movement and there's pictures. This is one of our Bibles and we read it every day after dinner and it helps me to understand what God's saying. I read my Bible and prayer cards in my bed with the help of Ba, Daddy and Mummy. This is my Bible. I study it to the discipleship group and use these Bible study notes. This is my Bible and I read it with my mum and dad every single night. Did you spot a Bible that maybe you use at home to get into God's words, to hear about how we live for him? At the start of a new term, we really want to encourage you to be getting into your Bibles together, to enjoy them and to allow God to speak to you through them. In fact, as a church, we're about to start a reading plan tomorrow, looking at Words of Hope. You can subscribe to that, particularly, I guess, for adults and young people. But kids, you're really welcome to join in as well. There's a little Bible reading each day, just just three minute video explaining what that passage is about. And we'd love you to join in as we allow God to speak to us through his word. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.